Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's garden. It's been a while since we've done much out here, at least on camera. But uh, we're gonna do some projects today, Luke and I in the garden, and see if we can get caught up, get you guys caught up, get some seeds planted, and uh, try to make this garden productive for the fall and winter. We missed out on an entire month. September uh, was a great time to plant some things. I missed out on that month. I uh, just was too busy with vacations and uh, other projects, things that have come up. So now we're into October. I'm gonna go ahead and put some seeds down and hope for the best. Some of the things should have been planted weeks ago, but we're gonna try anyway. I did wanna show you this book. This is how I'm storing my seeds right now. This is a binder that was used for the old floppy disk for computers. And it just so happens that these pockets are a nice size for some of these larger seed envelopes. And this binder, it's all built in, so I can't really uh, add and subtract pages, but I'll use it until it just doesn't work anymore. So I know other people use uh, the binders that have baseball card slots and the little uh, envelopes that fit nicely into the ba baseball card slots. You know this size here I think that's wonderful and that's that's my goal my brother in California has sent me he's got a big baseball card collection and he's selling those cards off a few at a time and he sent me some pages so when this book wears out when I've worn this one out I'm gonna start a book using the baseball card inserts so but for now I'm gonna go through here and pick out some lettuces and peas and beans and broccoli and brussels sprouts and different things that I want to get started in the fall garden. So I'll select my seeds and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay we're going to focus our first efforts right here. The goose is not going to let me talk. It seems like every time I want to start talking, especially on camera, April has something to say. But we're going to try anyway. So everything from the amaranth forward uh, we're going to take out. Uh, some of it did okay, some of it didn't, but uh, its life is done and we're going to remove it. First of all, I'm going to cut out this little squash. It really didn't do much at all right here. And uh, it's, it's pretty much done for the season. These okra plants, I put them in way too late. They were never going to grow up. So. I'm gonna take those out. All of that's gonna go feed the goats. And most of these plants, I'm cutting off right at the base uh, because I wanna leave that root structure to decompose underground. That'll just add uh, organic matter to my garden. And this is the first season for this soil, so it still has some maturing to do. I'm gonna add some compost to it as well. But we're gonna reach back here and we're gonna take out these bean plants. These are the uh, black eyed peas. I planted them really late in the season. I got a few peas off of them, but the, the plants themselves are pretty infested with aphids. And I, I just don't wanna let them go, so I'm just gonna take them out. And the last thing is this squash right here. It produced a couple of squash, but it has quit producing and it's taken up a lot of space. So we're gonna take it out as well. I'm gonna try out this new tool. I've already had it in the dirt a little bit. Uh, this is the Hodag from uh, Haas Tools, Handcrafted Garden Tools. You can see that label there. I haven't pulled the label off. I'm going to do that right now. But uh, I like the shape and the weight of it. It's got a wide blade and also a narrow blade just to get in here. You know, you take some of these, these weeds out, some of these plants that I didn't intend to be here. And that's all going to be more goat food. Oh. 
easy work of that. Okay. Now that I got the bed, you know, empty and the most of the weeds out, I'm going to take this compost that we harvested from my own compost pile back here. And I'm just going to put it on top and then rake it in. Probably use two buckets in this area. Okay, first, I want to try to take advantage of this fence and I'm going to put some cucumbers against that fence row. Now, some of what grows on the outside I'm likely to lose to chickens and ducks, but I'm hoping there's some that manage to grow on the inside. We'll see. I may not do it again next year, but we're going to give it a try. Now some of you may be saying, oh my goodness, get out of that bed, you're compacting the soil. And you're right, right here I am. I am sitting on a lid trying to distribute my weight just a little bit. But because I made this bed four feet wide up against the fence, I can't really reach it unless I go on the outside. And I'm just going about every six inches or so, dropping a seed. And these are uh, Space Master cucumbers. These were given to me by my neighbor. And I'm just going to take the side of my hodag here and I'm going to push a little bit of soil over that. Next, I'm going to try some Brussels sprouts. Last year, I didn't have any luck with Brussels sprouts, but uh, I sure would like to try. I'm going to take these seeds here. These are from uh, Baker Creek. I really like them as a seed company. They're pretty small seeds. And I'm just going to do another bit right here in front of where I did the cucumbers. Just draw on a line. It's not really, you know, to get the seeds very deep because I could just scatter these seeds right on top. They don't have to be planted deep at all. Now I'm just going to take uh, the hodag again on the side and I'm not even really going to push the soil into that. I'm just kind of moving it back and forth to slightly move that around to just barely, barely cover those seeds. And now that I'm getting closer to the edge, I can get out of the garden bed. And another selection from the Baker Creek Seed Company are the broccoli. The broccoli seeds and the Brussels sprout seeds look a lot alike. In fact, uh, they say to uh, plant the Brussels sprouts like broccoli. I've never planted, well, I did plant broccoli last year, but I planted it way too late. I didn't have I don't know if I had any plants come up. So I'm just going to do another row here. And that's just kind of, again, a line. So I know where I'm planting these things. Not terribly worried about spacing on these. 
If I get too many, I'll thin them out. And again, just shuffling that dirt. If you're wondering where Luke went, he stepped behind the camera. He likes to push the red button. I don't blame him, that's kind of fun. Okay, so now we have Swiss chard, lettuce, and marigolds. And I'm just gonna do another couple rows here. This is for my Swiss chard. We don't eat a lot of Swiss chard, but I don't mind growing it because the, uh, the chickens and the ducks and the goats, they chew it up. Part of my goal in time is to grow enough food here on the farm to where I don't have to buy any grain for my uh, for my animals. I spend way too much, way too much every month to feed the chickens and ducks and goats. You know, I don't, I don't have a, an appropriate location for grazing the goats and they pretty much the the goat run that we do have they pretty much decimated all the green on the inside so we're in the process of trying to figure out man i can't get this pack open we're in the process of trying to figure out a better way to manage our goats now this is crawford reseeding lettuce if it reseeds here maybe i'll have some a perennial garden of lettuce here that would be cool Now these marigolds, these are ones that uh, pulled off of the plants here in our own garden. I'm just going to put a few. I don't want a lot of marigolds. But if I could have a few of them along the edge, I think it's pretty. And some say that it's beneficial for the uh, keeping certain insects away. Others say it draws insects to them, which keeps them away from your other plants. Either way, I don't mind experimenting with them. Well, that's that part of the garden. Hopefully, some of that will come up. It, it may be too densely populated with seeds. Uh, that's part of learning. I, I'm, not a, I'm not the gardening expert. I'm still in the early stages of experimenting and, and trying to figure out for myself for my own uh, methods in my own area, how to best utilize the garden space that I have. And uh, each season gets better, my soil gets more mature, I get more mature, my knowledge uh, becomes greater as I uh, continue to rely on my observations and also research and sharing in the communities online. A lot of you are very willing to uh, share your knowledge. I look to other gardeners, other YouTubers, and uh, you know through the the communities google plus and facebook and different places where you can find me and other uh, fabulous gardeners willing to share so thank you for those who share with me thank you everyone for watching and i i am greatly appreciative for the community that we have going on and this is just this has been another fun episode of daddy curbs garden with the famous luke and myself I'll see you soon.